In this tutorial, we will add a title, some credits, and export our finished movie. With our three clips in a sequence, with the necessary changes made, we see the timeline is now 11.7 seconds long. We can now finish off by adding a title to the start and some credits at the end. Click and drag the timeline marker back to the start. Go to the Home tab and click on the Title button. As we have named our project Movie Scenes, the program sets the title automatically to match the project name. We can adjust the text setting by selecting it and using some of the controls like increasing or decreasing the size of the font, or changing the colour. We will choose this grey colour. When we click on the title slate in the timeline, it takes us to the Edit tab and shows us that the duration of the title is 7 seconds long. If we click on the drop-down menu, this can be changed to, say, 3 seconds. We can also put some credits at the end of the sequence by playing it to the end and clicking on the Home tab and then Credits. This brings up a default setting of credits within a text box that is set to scroll. We can type whatever we want into the box and it will scroll like real movie credits. So type in movie scenes. Press return a few times to allow some space and then type in directed by me. Return a few more times and type produced by me. And finally return down a few more times and type in a me production 2015. When we play it, we see it is seven seconds long, which is fine. We can now export the movie to view it. Click on the Home tab and go to Save Movie and in the drop-down menu that appears, select For Computer. This will open a dialog box and automatically name the file after the project and set it to MP4 format. Click Save. It takes just a few seconds to load up And then a message appears telling us that the video is ready to play. Click on play and it can now be viewed in a separate window.